Anyone who's a fan of Young Thug and YFN Lucci will know that these two been on each other's tail for very long. I mean, it's not unusual to see rappers get into beefs and diss each other, but a full-blown Cold War? That's the peak of it. These two have been at war for so long that I bet some of you even forgot about it. Well, in this video, we're going to show you the war between YSL Records' Young Thug and YFN Lucci. The Start of the War When they both began their careers, Young Thug and YFN Lucci were some of the hardest newbies on the block, and thanks to one of Atlanta's most popular hip-hop stars, Big Nut, they made a name for themselves in the hip-hop scene. Wait, long live night, forever. Their jolly days as friends soon came to an end in 2015 when Big Nut was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting. The shooting happened outside a barbershop on McDaniel Street in the Castleberry Hill neighborhood at Southwest Atlanta. According to the police investigations, they couldn't determine any motive, but they were, however, certain that the shooting wasn't random, rather, it was gang-related. Big Nut was a big name in the hip-hop scene in Atlanta, so many people were riled up about his murder, and it was even more infuriating when the cops couldn't solve Big Nut's murder case. However, there will always be word on the street, and the word on the street was the YSL crew was involved in the death of Big Nut. This caused a major rift in the rap scene as rappers were forced to take sides between Young Thug's YSL crew and YFN Lucci's YFN crew. Most of the rappers chose the YFN crew. Things, however, continued to steam up in the zone, and according to Lucci, they got into a couple of gunfights with alleged members of the YSL crew. He also revealed that his mother and her friend were once caught in a crossfire that happened in his home as a result of the gang war between YSL and YFN. The fights left the streets as Lucci started calling out Young Thug and the YSL crew on social media in 2016. Social Media War YFN Lucci brought his keypads to a gunfight when he started tweeting subs to YSL Young Thug on Twitter in 2016. He started by claiming that he had an affair with Young Thug's fiancée, Jerrica Carlay. She, however, came out to deny any relations with YFN Lucci, but he released some raunchy conversations that had a lot of people think otherwise. Tweeting, Fly take a rich wasn't enough for YFN Lucci to get at Young Thug. Lucci went on to post a video of Young Thug's daughter on her birthday, and he used some offensive captions on the video, including hashtag long live nut forever. Now anyone who knows Young Thug knows just how protective he is of his daughter. As a matter of fact, he once threatened to slap plies for calling his daughter a <laughs> Young Thug didn't make any open reactions to his post, but fans believe that he certainly acted behind the cameras. The two were at peace for a while and both focused on their individual careers until Young Thug released his beautiful Thugger Girls album on Tupac's birthday and claimed he was a new Tupac. YFN Lucci wasn't very pleased about that, so he made sure to let Young Thug know. Further Social Media Drama YFN Lucci and Young Thug have been at loggerheads for so long that fans can't even trace the origin of their beef anymore. It may date back so far, but here's what happened. You see, back in 2017, Young Thug made a tweet saying, I dropped EBBTG on Tupac's birthday because I'm the hashtag new Pac. I feel like I'm the thug he didn't get to become. And he used the hashtag so I'm gonna finish what he started. I bet you're wondering what the acronym in the tweet means. It refers to Young Thug's 2017 EP that had elements of country music titled Easy Breezy Beautiful Thugger Girls, or Beautiful Thugger Girls for short. Anyway, this tweet caught YFN Lucci's attention and he felt that Young Thug disrespected the name of the legendary Tupac. YFN Lucci went on to respond to Young Thug's comment by referring to Young Thug's 2016 mixtape, Jeffrey, where Young Thug posed in a dress designed by Italian designer Alessandro Tricone on the front cover of the mixtape. YFN Lucci went on to tweet, Pac would have never wore a dress, followed by a clown emoji. YFN Lucci's reaction to Young Thug calling himself greater than Tupac was what sparked up the beef between the two rappers. Once Young Thug got to hear YFN Lucci's jab towards him, he responded with a series of tweets, and in fact, he indirectly threatened YFN Lucci's life. He tweeted, Thank God you're able to take care of your mama and be humble. Doing too much could become a deep sleep. Exchanging tweets where they called each other out was only the start of the war between wife and Lucci and Young Thug. It didn't take a while before the smoke moved from online rants to real life disses. Real life disses. After throwing jabs at each other online, the two rappers moved the fight outside. Wife and Lucci threw the first sub. He released a song titled Like Pac as a response to Young Thug's tweet. The song was also released on what would have been Tupac's 46th birthday. To make Young Thug feel even worse about comparing himself to Tupac, YFN Lucci posted a series of tweets of his fans praising the song. Young Thug didn't make any reaction to YFN Lucci's diss track, which was supposedly in respect to Tupac, and neither did he comment on Lucci's tweets nor his fans' praises. Everyone thought the beef started and ended there in 2017. In fact, it was more believable that the two rappers just didn't care about the beef anymore when neither of them dissed the other in 2018. However, things got a bit heated up back in 2019, and this time around, it was Young Thug bringing the heat. 
Young Thug reignites the beef. I mean, we're pretty used to Lucci throwing subs and igniting the beef, but this time around, Young Thug was ready to bring all the heat to Lucci. In March of 2019, Young Thug went on his Instagram Live where he answered some of the questions that his fans asked him. On that fateful day, one fan decided to ask about the nature of things between himself and wife and Lucci, and the question quickly sent Thug on a media rant, and he said he was gonna slap Lucci. In his words, I'ma slap the hell out y'all little man, he said on the live video. Stop playing with me. Now, if it was Lucci who made such a post, Young Thug may have probably stayed silent on the issue, but tables were turned, and boy did YFN Lucci throw a hell of a tantrum. Lucci responded with an Instagram Live video where he made an offensive gay slur before saying, Young Thug ain't slapping nobody. Young Thug engaged in the back and forth with Lucci, and he responded to him by saying, I will slap the shit out of you as soon as I see you. Teeth cost more than your little broke life, boy. Lucci made a low call when he went on to call out Young Thug's wife, Jerrica Carlay, and said, Your husband ain't none. At this point, the fight shifted from just YFN Lucci and Young Thug, and it involved other people like Sauce Walker, a friend of YFN Lucci, who shared a video of Young Thug doing some boxing training. He captioned the video with an emoji of a woman dancing and hashtag slap, seeming to imply that Young Thug can't fight. YFN Lucci and Young Thug's girlfriend. In 2016, when YFN Lucci went on a media rant against Young Thug, he revealed that he had an affair with Young Thug's girlfriend, who, however, came out to deny the affair. Later, up in August 2019, he went on an interview where he spoke about the affair again. She was about me, so you know. That's what I saw. You, I saw. I saw that. I saw that you said you slept with his girl. Is that what it's about? I was in the bed with her a couple times. Wait. <laughs> During an interview with Atlanta's V103, he claimed that he had an affair with Jerrica Carlay. But he, however, didn't dwell on it, and many people believe that it was just Lucci looking for a cheap publicity stunt, and he immediately switched up to promote his mixtape after making the accusations. I was in the bed with her a couple times, he said. We ain't gonna talk on that, though. Jerrica Carlay, however, took to her Twitter to clear all of Lucci's claims on their alleged affair. She said, Imagine someone speaking on your name that you never Imagine being harassed year by year but that has no comeback, so he taunts a female. Jerrica Carlay wasn't the only one who reacted to Lucci's claims in the interview. Young Thug also posted on his Instagram saying, If I ain't like what you did for your mother and kids, I would have been killed you. That was where the beef between the rappers dropped the curtains for 2019. Very little was heard of their beef during the pandemic. However, quite recently in 2021, YFN Lucci got mixed up in a murder case, and Young Thug's reaction to the situation isn't what we all expected. Young Thug on Lucci's arrest. In January 2021, the authorities reported YFN Lucci to be a wanted man as he was one of the prime suspects in connection to a shooting that got a man killed in Southwest Atlanta in December of 2020. Lucci didn't wait for the authorities to break his doors down before he turned himself in to face justice. Before he turned himself in, he was wanted for two days by police. Thankfully, his unknown whereabouts didn't cause any more issues for him. After Lucci's arrest and the charges for his arrest were announced, there were a lot of shocking reactions, but none beat the reaction of Young Thug. I mean, with a beat that's been ongoing for nearly five years, it was quite shocking to hear Young Thug say something positive about him. In a post hours after Lucci turned himself in on multiple charges including murder, aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, Thug took to his Instagram story with some sort of positivity where he posted, I don't want to see no in jail, hashtag free all. He wrote on a video of him showing off his grill, then making a loud grunt and what could be interpreted as trolling. It is Thug, after all. This post left fans a bit confused, as they aren't really certain whether Young Thug is making a mockery of his arrest or whether he was genuinely sorry for him. He, however, made a reaction that many people didn't expect to see. If you're wondering what really led to Lucci's arrest, I'll fit you in on that detail. Lucci's arrest. A 28-year-old James Adams found himself in a pretty scary situation on December 10, 2020, and it was quite unfortunate that he lost his life that day. The deceased was found on People Street at 5.20 p.m., lying in the middle of a street with a bullet wound to the head. Adams was shot by return gunfire, but was soon manually ejected from the vehicle a short distance away. According to the investigations, he died as a result of a gang shooting between two rival gangs, one of which is YFN Lucci's gang, and he was present at the shooting at the time. It was also found out that Adams was actually part of Lucci's crew. Before getting shot, Adams was on video yelling, we're about to f this city up, man. Yeah, f this city up. The reports also added that Lucci and his crew were also actually in gang territory on the south side of Atlanta. They were in an SUV that entered an oncoming lane of traffic and stopped on the left shoulder, allowing Adams and the front passenger of the vehicle, Rayvon Void, to fire multiple shots from assault rifle-style firearms at people in rival gang territory. 
It sounds like YFN Lucci will be staying in jail for the time being in a case involving a death and alleged gang association. Lucci's, however, facing some charges in connection to the shooting for felony murder, aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Will YSL and YFN gang make peace? These gangs have been at war for nearly six years after the death of Big Nut, and over time, the reason why the gangs have had issues has cut across so many problems. The ongoing war between Young Thug and Lucci is just the tip of the iceberg of the war that actually goes on among these gang members. One reason why they had an issue that stretched beyond Lucci and Young Thug alone was when Yak Gotti, one of the artists working under Young Thug, found Lucci's car at a mall and stood on top of it to take a picture for the gram. Yak Gotti went as far as using the picture as the cover for his artwork. Lucci considered this move to be pretty insulting and uncalled for, and it was more upsetting to him because he had just shared a respectful nod with Yak inside the mall before the great disrespect. As always, Lucci had something to say about it on social media. He said, I just seen these n at the mall. These n and said YFN Lucci in a video. He went on to explain how he went outside and was told that Yak Gotti had been standing on his car taking pictures for the gram. Obviously, he was pissed. Right now, the two gangs are still rivals. However, at one moment, they were all cool. There are videos of Bloody J with Young Thug. Nobody knows the reason they fell out and never hit the internet. But right now, it seems like the whole Atlanta is against YSL.